I am happy. Um, don't know why. I didn't sleep at all last night. Um, I literally just laid in bed the whole night. I watched some YouTube videos on like Skyrim hacks. But anyway, wow. For some reason when I don't get sleep, I become really motivated to do things. So I decided I was going to build like a mini portable skateboard rail um, that can fit in the trunk of my car. Because I don't always go to skate parks. Um, I'm pretty bad at skateboarding, but when I do go skate, I go behind like uh, a target um, because there's lights back there and there's no cars. So I figured might as well make an easy portable rail that I can practice on and not have to be at the park. And really all I'll need is, I think one, one two by four, that's a good size. And then um, three or four inch thick, not thick, but wide, um, just mild steel. And we'll call that good. I think I have uh, screws and bolts and all that jazz at home. Anyway, I will see you in a sec. Okay, so first thing I just did was I cut a baseboard for the actual rail. And get this to line up. It might be a little shy or a little over, um, just because of the saw. So, but that is what the metal plate will actually sit on. And I'm gonna set this aside now for a fat minute and actually build the base. So, I need to figure out how high I want it. And that's gonna involve measuring. Um, I just used up three feet of my eight feet, which means I have five feet left. That's math. <laughs> Safety goggles. Okay, so these look really tiny, don't they? And uh, great, and you can already tell that's uh, slightly lopsided. For movies, I don't know, it's fine. Um, cause it's all gonna work out. But, the reason, uh, these are kinda small, I cut them six inches because on top of that, there's going to be another two inches, um, and then there'll be the legs, and that will be another two inches. So it will be a 10 inch rail, height wise. So I thought that was pretty sufficient if I just left it like that. And then it worked out, because of math, and now I have two three foot boards so I can make the legs one and a half feet if that's what I wanna do. So yeah, all right. So also the, this piece of wood was bowed, so that is unfortunate, but it's not gonna affect anything. Um, as you can see, it actually is pretty sturdy. We'll be able to handle stuff, slide off quick. Um, all I did on the bottom was put four screws in each side and called it good. I'm debating putting more screws up here. I don't know why, I just feel like it. But uh, really the last step is to put on the metal plate and I'll show you how to do that. And how I'm actually gonna be fastening this to the wood is I'm actually gonna use some extra skateboard hardware. As you can see, we had just barely enough length. Once that's tightened, if this will focus, we'll have enough room to get the bolt on there. But say you didn't have enough room, like your screw is too small, you can take like a bigger drill bit, like say a half inch or something, and kind of drill up into the wood on the other side, just enough so you can um, actually get to the screw and put the bolt on. Okay, so it's pretty much done. Um, it's as tight as I can physically get these bolts um, without stripping the um, actual screw. But obviously, um, these are kind of sticking out a little bit, so I'm gonna file them down some. Um, not too much, though. Um, obviously, just enough so it's not gonna hit the board too much. Um, like, this side over here is fine, but this side's sticking up a little bit, so I'll just file it some. 
So just a small hand file just for this one side so it's smoothed over. That's the finished product. I did a couple jumps on it just to make sure it would hold everything and jumped on it sideways. Didn't have any problems. Um, got these filed down enough um, to where it's not gonna cause any problems. This one I actually just smashed down with a hammer. And uh, now I'm just taking a little candle and getting some nice wax on there, you know? Yeah. Well, that was almost it. Ha <laughs> ha, barely got that one. <laughs>